Welcome back, guys. Dirk the Red Panda here with Tennis Ace. And apologies for last night having to be cut off so short and not being able to do it later that night. So, yeah, just got a bit busy. I mean, that's kind of what winter break is, though. I mean, you think you got all this time to yourself, but then it's like, nah, I got all these commitments of family. So, yeah, that's been my motto, pretty much. For the past week uh, let me scroll this up a little perfect all right so where we left off was the start of the third day of the character select days which since we're gonna play through case of case days only it's just gonna be the third day of case of K for the character select so yeah we're here at the menu for that and hello to my first viewers Dirtman and gugo so, yeah, I got nothing else to say other than I want to get through these days. Like, I just want to play through Tennis Ace right now so I can kind of... I don't want to say catch up because I feel like, oh, I'm just rushing it. But I really want to get to the meat of Keisuke's days. Like, I actually haven't played, like, 14, 15, and 16 on my own before. Like, when I played this a while back, I played through all the characters' days through day 13, meaning like I did Jones, I did Keisuke's, I did Shuichi's, and then once I did the first take episode or whatever you could say, I, that was the first time I had played beyond day 13 for a character and did it like, you know, for this channel as opposed to just personally. So yeah, actually no, I did Jones too. <laughs> so yeah, kind of a bit of a lie on that, but either way, it's like I only played through Jun's Day 14, and then I played through the rest of Shuichi's. So Keisuke is the one that is the mystery to me now, so I can't wait to figure it out now. So with that out of the way, <clears throat> what a weird pitch. So with that out of the way, better, let's get into the reading. All right, mm -mm. Hmm, not feeling too bad. Let's see what the day has in store for me today. And there it is, the glorious character select menu. Here we go, Casey K. All or nothing, here we go. All right, so I stand in front of the station, patiently waiting for Casey K to arrive. Even though we're supposed to be in class right now, he asked me to skip today for some reason. <laughs> I guess when I said that I'd come with him as long as I was free, he took that to mean that I'd skip class for it. Which, to be honest, I totally would. And I did. Still, he's running late. You shouldn't ask someone to skip something for you and then make them wait. It's just not cool. Nico-san. Oh, oh, God. I can't imagine Keisuke saying that. Or, hmm. How would Keisuke shout Nico-san at the top of his lungs? Hmm. Because <laughs> I want to do this line justice. Nikosan. A voice calls out to me from amidst the crowd. A stray I strain my eyes to try and find the source among that giant mass of people. <sighs> Kekun finally walks up to me, breathing with difficulty, a few drops of sweat descending from his brow. Kekun, are you okay? I like this music a lot. <laughs> I think it's one of the newer ones. Like, they added some tracks recently. Anyway. Yeah. Just a little winded. Sorry I made you wait. Uh, there was no way I could slip past Alex today, so I had to let him take me to school and then get changed to come over here. Why would you get changed? 
If you were already dressed up in your school clothes, you could have just kept wearing them. What if someone spots a student that is clearly not at school? They could have called the school on us. I think you're being a little too paranoid here. Ditching school isn't all that uncommon. No one would give a crap any- or No one would give a crap any- Anyone or anymore. Or no one gives a crap anymore. Well, I guess everything's okay either way. I suppose you had no reason not to change out of your school uniform. You got that right. At least you're not being too fussy about it. The only one here that is fussy is you. Well, putting that aside for now, have you managed to think of something you want to get for Alex? Um, not really. We don't have much information on him, even in our database. He really is a shadow. Not to worry though, I've been working really hard on remembering even the most minute details of our interactions and I think I might have struck gold. Oh, good night, MKHO. Sorry to get you at such a bad time. For right now for me it's morning, so... Yeah, didn't expect that. As opposed to going for the more same sane approach of... Asking. Oh yeah, what was it? I remember that I caught Alex reading books on old civilizations more than once. In fact, most of the books that I ever saw him read are about that. Now, I don't really know which ones he'd really read, or he's already read, or if he even has a preference for any specific tribe. But I do know for a fact that he likes this sort of stuff. Uh, sorry if it's not very concrete, but it's all I got for us so far. Things would be much easier if you just talk to him, you know? Oh, wow. Two in the morning. Jeez. <laughs> huh. Thanks about the drawing. Uh, yeah, probably will do that sometime tomorrow, possibly. I got plans again today after this. But yeah, I kind of stayed up late last night till about like one or two, like you, like just getting the sketch down, so. All I have to do now is line and coloring, so... Yeah, hopefully that is easier. <laughs> Alright, so, no problem. Let's just hope we can find something that caters to that. Would it be safe to assume that we'll be heading to the bookstore, then? Uh, yes. Uh, there's a bookstore nearby that has a great selection of history books from what I've researched online. Uh, they might be our safest bet at the moment. You. Only looked for history books? Yeah, why? Nothing, it's just that... Well... History is a pretty broad category. Just because they have history books doesn't mean they'd have books on old civilizations. Or that it could end up being Greek myth- or Greek- Greek mythology. <laughs> yeah, just like Shima Sensei, where everything's about Greek mythology. <laughs> Slams the desk. Ah, uh, man, man, that- that was a- uh, quite a throwback. To like, three episodes ago, was it? <laughs> Alright, so, I... didn't think about that. Well, whatever. Let's just go there and hope they have something. Great. Now I'm not feeling so sure about this. Don't sweat, you'll be fine. How can you be both a source of negativity and positivity at the same time? Lots and lots of practice. Either that or you're just crazy. 
could be a little of both for all we know. You're not supposed to agree with me, you know? Yeah, I know. It's more fun this way. It messes with your head. Just like you messed with me on day one of the character select days. Uh, just shut up and let's go already. Now you're telling me to shut up? I thought you called me over to ask for my input. Yes, and I'm already starting to regret it. Aw, don't be so mean, Keikun. I know you love me. Just shut up already. Ah, <sighs> the refreshing, artificial coldness that comes with air conditioning. Even when it's not overwhelmingly hot, it's still such an amazing feeling to walk into a fully air-conditioned room. It makes me miss my bedroom. I'm gonna take a look at the history section. Mm, I just hit a very low note there. Sorry? Let me redo that. I'm gonna take a look at the history section. Or you could just ask the clerk. God dang it. You could at least at let me get a word in before walking off. Stupid impatient rabbits. Or is it a hare? Or am I just being specious? <laughs> no kidding. We ain't gonna go that far. I can never tell the difference. Good thing this place isn't too big. No chance of me getting lost. Now, the history section should be somewhere around... Huh? It's not next to the geography section? Those two are usually always together. There are so many bookcases, I can't even tell which is which. Are they color-coded? No, doesn't seem like it. There's nothing signaling it either. What the hell is wrong with this place? I know it isn't some big franchise bookstore, but come the hell on. At least organize your crap. Oh, there he is. No, no, no. Keisuke is inspecting each and every one of the books, mumbling to himself as he checks them. Every now and then, he'll put, pull one out of the bookcase, flip through the pages, and then put it back. What are you doing? As if he only now just realized or noticed my presence, he readjusts himself, turning to look at me. Ah, uh, Nikosan, uh, there you are. Uh, where have you been? Please don't just wander off without a word like that. What? But you're the one who... Ah, uh, you know what? Forget it. There's no way I'm going to be able to get him to realize it himself. Either way, have you found something yet? Uh, not yet. They really do have a pretty big collection, but none of them seem right. You know, we could save ourselves a lot of trouble if you just ask the clerk if they have any books on ancient civilizations in stock. They can do that? Of course they can, what the hell were you expecting? You really are out of touch with society. I... I didn't know. It didn't even occur to me. How clueless can a person be? Jeez. You didn't need to be that harsh on me. Fine, fine. Let's just go talk to the clerk and see if there's anything here. Agreed. At least he's not stubbornly fighting me on this. We head to the front desk where the clerk is writing something down on a notebook. 
He watches us approach, putting the book and the pencil down and standing up to greet us. Or to greet us. <laughs> Good morning, what can I do for you? I'm looking for books on a specific topic. Do you have any way of checking your system to see if you have any? Of course, uh, all our books are tagged in our system using their genre, topics, authors, publisher, and year of release. I can certainly check the system to see if we have anything that matches your criteria. Uh, what sort of book are you looking for? Uh, we're looking for a book on ancient civilizations. The badger shifts his weight, crossing his arms and adopting a thoughtful look. Ancient civilizations, huh? You mean things like ancient Egyptians, Greeks, Romans, or things like the Mayans, Aztecs, or other ancient tribes? Is, uh, is there a difference? Of course! Well, I can't guarantee we'll have books on either of those without first checking the system. There's a big difference between them depending on what con continents they are from. European civilizations are different from American ones which are different from Asian ones. <clears throat> so uh, <clears throat> sorry. So on and so forth. I admittedly don't know much about this kind of thing. The book is supposed to be a gift for a friend who really likes them. I don't know if he has a specific interest in one kind. Alright, so I guess a broader search is in order then. Let's see what the system has to say about it. He types a few words on his computer. It's a pretty old boxy looking system that looks to be at least six or seven years old. But I guess I can't expect er ev anything, sorry, very grand from a neighborhood store. The badger purses his lips. Unfortunately, it seems that we don't have any more books matching that criteria. Uh, this might come as a surprise to you, but we're completely sold out on all of our books fitting that genre. Uh, we've been downsizing the history section lately, so we don't hold as many copies of those kinds of books anymore. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I guess I'll have to check another place. The man nods, a considerate smile on his face. Uh, maybe you might want to check an antique store. They're more likely to have the things you're looking for. They usually have books talking specifically about ancient civilizations and artifacts. Who knows, you might have better luck finding places of history there. Just be prepared for the higher prices. I don't think that would be a problem, but I have no idea where I could find one. Well, we can always use our phones to check. Well... Oh, there's no need. I do happen to know a few in the city and regularly correspond with their owners. I can write down the addresses for you. Oh, that's pretty helpful. Uh, thank you. Quite convenient that you would have this kind of information, too. The badger smiles, rubbing the back of his head bashfully. Aww. I'm a college student majoring in archaeology, so I'm quite passionate about this kind of thing. I wrote down my personal recommendations of stores you should visit first. Hopefully you'll be able to find what you're looking for. Uh, thank you. That's really kind of you. Any day, I just like seeing people showing an interest in history. Have a nice day. Uh, you too. Ah, dang, I miss the cool air-conditioned environment already. Keep forgetting that back there, or not back there, in this story, it's supposed to, like this part takes place in like May or whatever, when it's like super hot or whatever. Meanwhile, for me, it's like December and cold as hell, so I'm like air conditioning. I'm like, ugh, so cold. I need the heat. 
But anyway, I miss the cool air-conditioned environment already. Well, that was a bust. At least you get some places to recommend it to you. It's better than nothing. True. Although, I still prefer it if we'd manage to end our search here. Make it easy on the rich people. Wouldn't it have been kind of anticlimactic if we come all the way here just to finish everything in five minutes, though? Where's the fun in that? It's not like we're going out, of, out to have fun, you know. Doesn't mean we can't have any. I... Suppose that's true. Yeah, you're right. There's no reason why we can't have fun while we're at it, is there? We're already skipped class anyway, so there's no way we're going to get in. Yep, you got it. Now, where do you want to go first? Hmm, well according to the paper he gave us, his top recommendation would require us to take the subway. It's probably a 20 minute trip. That's not too bad. Agreed. It's also lunchtime too. How about we stop somewhere to have some food first? <laughs> My treat. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> oh Nico, always not wanting people to spend money for him. Such a good boy. <laughs> Come on, when are you going to stop being so stuck up about it? I'd love to be able to treat you. Are you going to make me beg for your permission? You've really become fixated on treating me, huh? That's because it's fun. I don't get the chance to go out with you just the two of us often. I really like it when we get time alone together. Is it so weird for me to be having fun? <laughs> Not again. The heart beats. That's a... Uh, what? Is something wrong? No, nothing at all. Uh, you just... Uh, caught me by surprise there. What? I... But I didn't do anything. Did I? You struck my heart. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's just hope you'll continue to be clueless. I guess I'll accept your offer then. Mm, that's great. Is there any place you'd prefer to go to? Not really. I'm fine with whatever. In that case, or in that case, I know of a great steakhouse nearby that I'm sure you would love. Oh God, it sounds so filling. Ugh, I just had steak last night. And it's like, ugh, I could barely eat till now. Why do I get the feeling that it's going to be another one of those places where everything costs a kidney? It's not, or at least I think it's not. We'll just have to see when we get there, won't we? Not helping one bit. I have to admit, this is certainly not what I was expecting. Just like Saya's restaurant. You tricked me! This is just the diner Saya works at! Oh, come on, and I knew it just from the background art thing. You got me, game. I was adjusting the mic. Ah. Ears are, my ears itch. Alright, so. It is. But the look on your face was priceless just now. You really were expecting me to take you someplace outlandish, weren't you? Well. It turns out that I really like the food in here, so I was kind of itching to come over. I hope that's okay with you. It is. I like this place. Although it'll be a bit weird to not get served by Saya-chan. Unless she ditches school and then just totally beats us up for ditching school too. That would be very interesting. 
He'll be fine. Start thinking of what you're going to order already so we won't have to wait long, okay? Don't you start with that too? Sorry, I couldn't resist. We take a seat in one of the nearby booths, picking up the menus to check on what is available. I think I'm just gonna order a grilled steak with mashed potatoes. That does sound pretty good, although I was fully expecting you to order some curry again. Curry is good, but that doesn't mean I want to have it all the time. I prefer varying on what I eat. The complete opposite of Mr. Shuichi give me soba urata. The guy I relate to so much when it's like ordering the same stuff at a restaurant every time. <sighs> Why is this game so relatable? <laughs> He'd probably hit you if he heard you calling him that. Indeed he would. <laughs> what about you? Any idea what you'll be having? Hmm. That's a tough question. I know I said I, I know I said it as a joke, but please try not to take too long to come up with your order. All right, all right. I get it. I'll try to be quick. Jeez. You and Shuichi really are birds of a feather. Hmm. 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 <laughs> this is me though. It's like I'm like she would you order the same thing all the time, but I take forever to like order it. Where I'm just like, maybe I'll vary it up today. Maybe today's the day. Why does this game speak on so many levels to me? Just pick something already. The steak. I'll have the steak. God damn it. He wasn't kidding when you said you took a lifetime to pick. It hasn't even been that long. We've been here for 10 minutes. The waitress is even staring at us because we haven't ordered anything yet. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. What am I going to do with you? Well, it doesn't matter right now, so you'll have the steak with mashed potatoes, like me. Yeah, to be fair, everything looks so good that I have a hard time picking. <laughs> yeah, don't we all suck at picking things quickly? I don't know how people do it, it's just like, look at a menu for like 30 seconds ago, oh yeah, I want that. Like. Honestly, I'm looking at the ingredients, looking at the things behind it, just making sure it's a thing that I will not regret once I order it. I take my ordering very seriously. <laughs> seriously, what has this game got against a, what has this game got against people who take their time to order? Ah. And yet you still ended up picking the same thing as I did. You didn't give me much time to consider. Ten minutes is more than enough time. You're just too indecisive. Can't argue with that. Kisuke calls over the waitress and orders for us. Even apologizing about the delay. He really can be quite courteous when dealing with people. Uh... You're staring at me. Is something the matter? Oh, no, no, it's nothing. I'm sorry. Is that so? I was just wondering something. You told me a while ago that you have problems coming to these more... regular stores, if I can call them that. Uh, it's been going on for... 30 minutes now, or it will be 30 minutes soon. So yeah, half an hour. Probably gonna do this for like another hour, maybe, an hour 15. Or at least until I get through all the character select days. So I wanna get through this tomorrow and the following day. So I was, oh no, I read that already. Whoops. <laughs> uh, but 
you still dealt with the waitress without a hitch. It's not like I'm incompetent, you know. I just feel really nervous about it. I haven't visited simpler places like these since I began living to the, as the heir to the Arushahara Corporation. Whenever I come to them alone, I'm always afraid that I'll do or say something offensive because I don't know people all that well. For good or for bad, most of my life experience has involved rich, sniveling psychopaths. Psychopaths? Is it psychopaths? I'm not sure if that's psychopaths. Sycophants? I'm not sure. I've never seen it. Either I've never seen it spelled like that, or I've. Uh, it's gotta be like psychophants or something like that, because psychopaths is different. But I've never seen that word. Psychophants or servants. Let me look it up quickly. What is it? Sycophant or psychophants? What is a psychophant? Sycophants. Or sycophant. Or sycophant. Sycophant. Uh, a person who acts. Oh, wait. Obsequ. Wait. I can't believe I can't read. A person who acts. Obsequiously. Jeez, why did I take so long to read that? A person who acts obsequiously towards someone important in order to gain advantage. So, kind of a suck up. Yes, ma'am, bootlicker, yep, all of these things. Obsequious, obsequiously, why are there so many long words and fancy people definitions? Ugh. Obsequiously, Oh, that's what it is, jeez, why am I so brain dead today? I'm doing this at like 11 in the morning, it's like I got up at like 10. <laughs> so, yeah, that's awkward. Psychonaut game, oh, there's a psychonaut game? What is that about? Never heard of that. May have to consider that now. <laughs> Rich people problems. <laughs> First world problems. Alright, so... I haven't really dealt with regular people much before. I've actually always wondered about that. Our school might be pretty well off, but it doesn't seem like the kind of place you'd attend. Why's that? You're not with the upper class now, you're with the upper middle class. <laughs> Loki, that's how private schools are. You get people that can range a little bit, like in the middle class or lower middle class, but then yeah, you get people that are like mostly upper middle class and occasionally the rich people. It's, it's an interesting dynamic, but then you go to like public school and you get the whole range. It's really crazy. Like, honestly, like I go to community college and I'm like, eh, I don't know just gonna expect anything from these people and then it's like a handful of my teammates are like rich as hell it's like oh my god I didn't expect that like one of them has like a hotel company for his family the other is like I don't know what his family does but it's like he's hella rich it's like oh my goodness how do I know these people it's like they weren't on our team until this year I'm like oh suddenly we have rich people now <laughs> but nah they're, they're pretty chill outside of that like I didn't really know about that until like a few months I'm like oh that's a coincidence. <laughs> so, yeah. Why is that, Keisuke? Why do you go to our peasant school? Um... Keikun? You... I... You're not wrong. My family was wholly opposed to me studying here. Up until middle school, I'd only studied in schools for rich families. The monthly tuition alone was probably enough to buy a house in the suburbs. Oh, that makes me feel so horrible. Oof. Oof. And that's monthly tuition. Oh, God. Why you gotta hurt me like that, Keisuke? Why you gotta hurt me like that? That's kind of a terrifying thought, and I've never seen... Nico, ever have that expression before? Wow, not the prettiest expression, but that is one of wincing and pain. <laughs> I know, or at least I know nowadays. I never really thought much about it before. I really felt out of place when I first transferred to our school. 
It was only because of you guys that I was able to fit in. I'm glad you did, though. I'm, I can't really imagine our group without you in it. <laughs> You're being too polite. <laughs> A flick on the nose. Keisuke, you better not do this to us again. <laughs> Still, what led you to transfer to our school in the first place? Uh, that's... I think I prefer to leave that story for another day. Oh, don't you want to tell me? Or you don't want to tell me? Dirk sounds like a Dutch name. In the Netherlands, they call a supermarket chain- Or there's a supermarket chain called Dirk of the Pants. <laughs> what a name. Well, let me tell you the story of how I got my- my name, or, you know, how I got the name Dirk. So, if anybody's, like, seen the NBA, there's this one player on the Dallas Mavericks named Dirk Nowinski, or Norwinski, or something like that. Yeah, it's very European, definitely, say the least, or something like that. I am very uncultured. Let me look up where Dor Dirk Norwinski is from. As I completely just, like, completely go off the rails from the story. Winsky. It's probably different. I probably spelled it horribly wrong. Slowly loading. But, yeah, basically what happened is that... Oh, Nowitzki. Yeah, German. So, yeah, European. <laughs> oh, I didn't know it was a German name. So, basically, he's a pro NBA basketball player, and there's this one Nike shirt that a lot of people may remember that says... Dirk never stops. The first, like, year of high school, like, freshman year of high school, I bought this shirt going, ooh, it's a cool shirt, it fits me perfectly, and all that, yada yada. I wore it for one too many days when I was practicing with my volleyball teammates at the time, and I didn't really have a nickname yet, I was still new to this team, and since I wore the shirt one too many times, they're like, they just start calling me Dirk, like, that was my new nickname, I'd always be Dirk. Dirk never stops. <laughs> yeah, it, it was interesting. And so, because of that, I kind of held it dear to my heart. And so when I came up with my... Tried to come up with a name for myself here, I was like, Dirk kind of Dirk kind of flows off well. As opposed to my other nickname that I had, that I don't want to mention, because then you more people might know me and be like, oh, I know this person in real life or something, like, <laughs> exposed. But then again, if anybody heard my name or my actual name get shouted, like, during the last stream to come down for dinner, that's like, you know, it's crazy. What's the point of hiding it? <laughs> but yeah, basically got my name from my volleyball teammates freshman year of high school, and it stuck from there. And ironically, this nickname that I have ended up becoming going out of phase a little bit like it started getting used less as opposed to my other nickname that everybody would start calling me by so at least now people won't really expect this as much from me so the secret is mine <laughs> yeah so yeah I didn't really know much about the actual basketball player until I got the shirt I was just like oh who is this guy <laughs> but yeah it was a hectic story to say the least so yeah, why don't you want to tell me, Keisuke? <sighs> Let's just get back into it before I go on to a longer tangent and like, not have enough time to finish. <laughs> Interesting story, Ki or Kaibu? Yeah, Kaibu, I think? I forgot. I swear I pronounced your name before once, but yeah, Kaibu. Bambuiza. I like, I like the sound of that. So anyway, oh, why don't you want to tell me? Uh, to be honest, not really. Ouch, way to be blunt. Sorry, this is just, or this just isn't a story that I'm comfortable with telling you. It's fine, I didn't mean to pry. Mm, sorry about that. Mm. Oh, Kebu. Or Kebu? Ah, why am I so bad at pronunciation? But. Th 
I think that's how you say K A K A I K like kind of like K S U K. So it's K Boo. Okay. Dirk. Wait. In Dutch, we pronounce it like Dirk, like the actual deer. The K, Dirk. <laughs> That'd be interesting to start calling myself like, "Hey guys, it's Dirk." <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are we getting such a tangent with my nickname? <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Dirk. I don't know. It doesn't flow, off, flow as well as Dirk. Is there, like, a different spelling like that? Like, do they spell it like that if you pronounce it like that? <laughs> I love the accent. Aw, thanks. Whatever. I love how it's like we get to the peak of people watching 13 people watching people climbing in to watch now and it's like we're just talking about how my nickname came to be ah. <laughs> MK user yeah d definitely is flows off the tongue and there's also some band or, or artist or music artist called MK I like it shrug whatever <laughs> KSK is waiting for us to continue <laughs> looking at the, he's like from my like camera perspective it's like the screen is looking at the comments like he's like literally looking at your comments going hmm <laughs> you created a monster nah <laughs> all right let's continue that 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 maybe I'll get back to it it's probably the first time I've seen my chat like ex like explode like this and like be very interactive like some of the other chats da, da, da. so let him read ah oh, guys you can still keep talking though i mean i may just not look at it though as much <laughs> it's okay so oh boy talk about awkward silence really wish the food would arrive about now true that true that since when did you talk like that Oh, you noticed? I've been meaning to learn to be a little more streetwise, you know? I figured it might be useful once I'm in the US. It'll let me blend in easier. God, wait. What did you say? It was like. Shoot, I have such short term memory. True that. Like, I wonder if he said it, like, in English. Because <laughs> just imagine him trying to be like, true that? Trying to say in, like, an American like accent like true that true that or something like that <laughs> all right so yeah let's go make them blend in easier come to the states Nico <sighs> and it's also let me just say this too it's also ironic that they have like all this professional stuff and tennis all that in the US and all over the place yeah, for volleyball, you have to be in Europe or in China or Russia or wherever just to play professionally. Like, there's no professional, like, true professional club U.S. volleyball, which really disappoints me. So, I really don't have much or anywhere to go after this for it. So, yeah, that is another tangent that we will stop now. <laughs> so, what? Why are you looking at me like that? It's just, there's so much wrong with what you just said that I don't even know where to start. Oh. The waitress appears by our table, plopping down our plates with a smile on her face. The food is steaming hot and looks incredibly appetizing. Thank you. Or thank you. The girl nods, her smile widening, before leaving to attend her other tables. Yeah, I can't get everything I want though. <laughs> That's just life. I like how quick the service is here. Well, this is a maid cafe run by bunny girls and is bunny themed. I'd imagine speed is a theme. <laughs> Why do you gotta be so specious? <laughs> Again, there's so, again, there's so much wrong with that that I don't even know where to start. Oh, 
I'm a bit surprised once we walk into the antiqui antiquity shop. Because it's antique antiquity. Yeah, antiquity. That's how you say it. I've been doubting myself ever since I had to say obsequiously. <laughs> like, that was when my whole life changed. <laughs> Only good at passing over the net. Yeah, that is one of the things where it's like, at least I can get it over where it's like, that's a good starting point. And from there, it's how do I keep it on my side of the net for my partners or my teammates? Yeah, slowly you'll get there, Kebu. <laughs> I'm just gonna read the next one because that just totally messed with my brain. I fully expected some dusty old place with little lighting and ugly decor. Instead, it's a pretty cozy environment that doesn't really look all that different from a regular store. I like this place. That's not hard to achieve. All a store needs is air conditioning and you already like it. You're not exactly wrong there. I certainly wasn't expecting to see a security guard on the front door though. That's because we have many priceless artifacts here. Things from over a thousand years ago. Safety is our primary concern. We turned to look at the front counter where a young looking horse dressed in a black leather jacket leaned on the counter, looking at the two of us with a smirk. Oh, good afternoon. You work here? Of course not. He's just standing behind the counter and talking to customers because it's fun. Oh my god, this reminds me of, uh, if anybody's see, like, followed Frederick Knudsen, like his Down the Rabbit Hole series, <laughs> Down the Rabbit Hole, <laughs> uh, sorry, I had to make that pun, uh, but yeah, it's like, he has this series where he just kind of reviews or does documentary style videos on, like, interesting kind of chaotic cases of people and just people that kind of went a bit crazy, to say the least. And one of the guys was, like, I mean, his name wasn't this, but the, ga the game or whatever, the coding system he made was called Temple OS. It was a recent video he made, and at the beginning of the video, he kept, like, pushing his program onto people, and he kept advertising it as, I made this new program I made all by myself, this compiler by myself, because it's fun. And that was the catchphrase I kept repeating every time. Like, you will love to program in this because it's fun. And then everything he said was because it's fun for like the next like minute of that video. I was like, or not Frederick saying that, but like the whatever description he read from this guy. It's, it was pretty funny. Oh, but I kind of like sarcasm. That's kind of what makes me me. I'm a sassy lassie. Finger snaps on the side. So anyway, you didn't have to be rude. Nico and Dirkman having the same thing in common <laughs> right now. Why you gotta be so mean to them, Kesuke? Okay? Don't ask soup don't ask stupid questions then. The horse chuckles. <laughs> I guess you could say so. I'm the owner of this store. Wait, you're you're the owner? He smiles smugly, leaning forward on the counter. Yes, why the shock? It's just that... Um... You look very... Young? Yeah, I, I get that a lot. <laughs> Not many people expect the owner of an antiquity shop to be a 28-year-old stud. <laughs> oh god. St Dud. Certainly not modest either. <laughs> his smile widenly, widening, uh, the, the horse put a hand on his hip. I also have an excellent hearing. And no, modesty and I don't get along. Sorry. It's alright, I don't really mind. This used to be my father's store. I inherited it three years ago when I finished my doctorate's degree in archaeology. So yeah, I might be young, but I'm certainly not a greenhorn. 
What can I help you with? I was originally looking for some books on ancient civilizations that I could get for a f gift, sorry, for a friend of mine who is interested in the subject. I don't suppose you'd have any. The owner's smile widens. Jumping over the wooden counter, he walks past us. I certainly do. Come with me if you will. You're quite lucky. My father didn't stock many books in the past. It was mostly only artifacts, but I could fi or, but I find that people pursuing knowledge in history deserve to be coddled. So even if they're not antiques themselves, I still love to have them in my store. He walks up or he walks us upstairs. I'm getting so dyslexic right now. <laughs> Dang. He walks us upstairs to a second floor where there are so many shelves stocked all the way up with books. Shoot, sorry if I said I'm so dyslexic with that. Like, if anybody has dyslexia. Should have said that, maybe, but... Yeah, it's like, we all have times where we just see something and then see something else. But, yeah, it's definitely not as bad as that. Yeah, tuck out my shirt collar there. <laughs> Apologies. So, whoa. Impressive, right? I can confidently say I have the greatest collection of history books in all of Kanto. We get quite a bunch of business from professors, college students, and history buffs alike. Adding this little library here has more than quadrupled our profits. Nobody can speak well. Everybody's a stuttering mess. The lesson here is, never underestimate the small sales. I can see that. Ancient civilizations are the reasons I went into archaeology in the first place. Mesoamerican civilizations were the focus of my doctorate dissertation. Oh goodness, dissertations. I had a math, not, not even a professor, this is like senior year of high school calculus, where the professor went into this like little story about his son doing a dissertation in math or whatever for his doctorate and I'm just sitting there going dear god I don't want to go that far into my degree for mathematics like I'm going to something in mathematics won't specifically say or I may have said it already who knows but yeah I only want to get a bachelor's <laughs> to say the least like I don't think I would have the drive to go further but yeah it's like you just see these people sitting down and just talking to these advanced, like, advanced level topics that people just sit there and watch and go, yeah, that's, that's smart people stuff. Like, that was his whole story about it. Like, he just sat there and went, yeah, I don't even know some of this stuff. And he's a math teacher for us. Like, <laughs> like, doctor dissertations are scary, guys. <laughs> so anyway... So lucky for you, you walked into the best store if you're looking for that sort of thing. I can see why the clerk at the bookshop recommended me to come here first. The horse's grin immediately widens. A clerk at a bookshop? Uh, would that by any chance be a lean, kinda dorky looking badger? Yeah, that's him. <laughs> That's Manabu. Oh, oh, that Manabu certainly doesn't waste an opportunity to gush about my store. I'll, I'll have to give him a present later. You guys are probably the tenth group of customers he sent to me in the past week alone. That's pretty nice of him. There aren't many people interested. Ugh. <laughs> I did again. <laughs> there aren't many people interested in these things, especially here in Japan. Most archaeology students tend to be interested in Asian history, which I myself find pretty boring. Well, you would get along with Shima Sensei to say the least, man. You and your ancient history. <laughs> but, well... You didn't come here to hear me ramble on, did you? Make yourselves at home, browse as much as you'd like, and feel free to come to me to ask questions. He walks back downstairs, leaving the two of us to marvel at the giant collection in front of us. 
Damn, these are all coded too. Mayans, Aztecs, Incans, Egyptians, Greeks? There are so many here that it would take me all day to even list them all. I didn't even know there were enough people interested in history to warrant a store this big. Neither did I. But I guess this goes to show that history is a popular subject despite all odds. To be honest, I really imagine you being the kind of to enjoy this sort of thing. Ugh, no. Alex tried to get me into it, but it was just too boring for me. Still, I can understand him liking it, and I'm happy that it's a popular enough subject to warrant having a store like this. You really can be Mr. Sunshine when you want to, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Sure you don't. Anyway, do you have any idea what kind of book you want to get for him? They seem to have so many here. True, I feel tempted to get more than one. Who knows what kind of relic I can find? Alternatively, you could buy him an actual relic. Oh. That's a great idea. What? I, I was joking. That must cost a fortune. Oh, yes. Because that's somehow going to be a deterrent for me. Oh, yeah. Hmm? Now that you mentioned it, I remember seeing a few old-looking things in his apartment when I visited. Although I've only been there once since he rented it not long ago. Uh, where was he living before that then? The people working for my family are given housing close to our estate. They are still allowed to get apartments or houses of their own in the city, but they're only allowed to spend the night in them when they're off shift. Wow, that's sad. Only the night. That, yeah, doesn't sound very nice. Our servants have access to high-speed internet, pools, gyms, sports centers, and free food while they're at work. That sounds so nice. I want to work for you now, KCK. Where can I sign up? <laughs> be my boyfriend. I'm, yeah, that's how you'll sign up. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But I do like the idea of buying an actual relic. I think that might be even better than a book. Let's see. I remember him having something that looks like a fossilized tooth and a few drums that look to be hundreds of years old. I'll go downstairs to ask the owner if he has something like that. Hmm. People that have tons of money to spend are crazy. I walk back downstairs to see Keisuke chatting excitedly with the owner. The horse is beaming with excitement as he points out a few knickknacks on the shelves. Mm, that one is a portable hand drum used by the Mayans that about 3,000 years ago. It was mostly used for religious rituals. This one in specific was found next to an altar in a temple. Due to the location it was found in and the fact that it was covered in stains that were later confirmed to be human blood, we believe that this particular drum was used in rituals of human sacrifice. <laughs> Oof. Blood. <laughs> Hashtag bongos. <laughs> what the hell kind of conversation did I just walk into? Ah, Nikosan. Uh, Na Namasa-san was explaining to me about the different drums they have here. I asked him for the oldest and most valuable ones. <laughs> God dang it. Why'd you have to do this to us, case again? I know your family has a lot of money, but... Can you even pay for that kind of thing? First your wallet gets stolen, and then you end up buying this expensive artifact. What is wrong with rich people? <laughs> Do you need me to show you how much I have in my savings account? 
Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it'd scar me forever. Also, since what did you know the owner's name? The stallion smiled, walking up to me and holding out his hand. Ooh, she, 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 she get her. That's because once your friend talked about buying something so expensive, I just felt that I needed to pr properly introduce myself. While we have these mostly for show, selling them is incredibly rare. A purchase like that is enough to keep us afloat for years. But I'm just rambling again. I'm Shigeru Nawamasa. It's a pleasure. Afloat for years? Uh, how much does one of those even cost? He purses his lip, grabbing a folded piece of paper that was lying on top of the counter and showing it to me. Oh god, this can't be good. Don't even think about commenting on it. <laughs> that... This just scares the crap out of me just looking at. You must really like Alex, huh? There's that face again. <laughs> that dorky face. Of course I do. He practically raised me. Still, this... This is a lot. You're really generous sometimes, huh? I like to think I'm generous all the time. <laughs> sure, to Shuichi. Still, th that ritual drum sounds perfect. I'll take it. The stallion's eyes are open so wide that it almost looks like there's twinkling with unbound happiness. Oh, this chat is so great. <laughs> crazy rich people. No, 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 no. Crazy rich Asians. Why am I so... Why do I keep making these terrible puns? Most people would refrain from this, but... My goodness, I had to say it. Your boyfriend's a crazy rich Asian. That was, or that was an incredible choice, sir. I'll have it wrapped and delivered by the end of the day. Uh, thank you, Sve thank you very much. Smiling, Keisuke pulls out his credit card. I'm the one that needs to thank you. I found a present even better than when I was speaking. Or expecting, jeez, uh, sorry. Uh, Keisuke hums cheerfully during all the of the subway trip. Uh, he seems to be so happy and engrossed in his song that I don't have the heart to interrupt him and chat. In fact, I like hearing his humming voice. It's such a pleasant melody. I can't believe everything worked out so well. Those are the first words he says w since we left the store. You certainly do look happy about it. Uh, how could I not be? Uh, or how could I not be? I got the perfect present for Alex. And I can't stop thinking about the fact that this thing is probably worth more than my house. Probably worth more than the entire school you're going to. Just a food for thought. How do you plan on giving it to him? I still have to figure out that part. I don't want it to seem like I'm trying to buy his forgiveness like you said. I just need to find a way that shows him this is just me trying to make amends. A cheaper present probably would have made that easier. That sounds fair enough. I'm sure you'll figure something out. Thanks. And thank you for coming with me too. It was a lot less boring having someone else around. <laughs> probably sad but true. Sad but probably true. Uh, this just hurts thinking about. Don't worry about it. It was my pleasure. 
By the way, if you don't mind me asking, how's that band thing coming along? Mm, band thing? You know, you told me a few days ago that you joined the Light Music Club in their band. Oh, uh, right. Did you become a vocalist or a guitarist? Or maybe you're doing both. That would be so cool. I... What's with that unenthusiastic reaction? I haven't performed for them yet. I'm just their manager at the moment. What? Why not? Because I was embarrassed. These people are really good. There's no way I could take their place. And why would they let some newcomer play with them when they've been together for two years already? Isn't that the whole point of the club? Or isn't that the whole point of a club? I... I guess? Still, I can't bring myself to perform in front of them. I'm just so embarrassed that I can't do it. Then what was the point of joining the club in the first place? No comment. Can you at least let me come and watch the rehearsal? What? If they're that good and you're their manager, then there shouldn't be any problem if I just come over to watch, right? Maybe you can introduce me to your new friends? I... I guess I could. You know what? You helped me with so much, or you helped me so much with this problem with Alex already. Sure, I'll introduce you to them once the situation with Alex is resolved. Against my better judgment. Why is this against your better judgment? No comment on that either. Anyway, now that we're done with this, I'm gonna get changed into my school uniform and wait until classes end at the ice cream shop. You want to come with me? Sure, I have nothing better to do anyway. Jesus, it's such a long character select day. Usually they're like 30 minutes? This is like an hour. <laughs> Not complaining though, just saying because I'm like, I don't have all the time in the world. <laughs> Great, I'm not sure it won't be boring if you're around. Kisuke and I kill the next hour until the school bell rings before he rushes back to the gates to be picked up. He really is pretty good skulking around without being found out by his family. I'll give him that. See, right when I say the day ends. Magic. And we're in May, just making sure. So let me just save just in case. Overwrite the save. We are in character select day four. I really hope today doesn't suck. Guess I'll have to make the best of it. To the left, to the left, left, left. We are on day four of the Case of K character selects. <laughs> but wait, there's more! Oh hey, look at these little thought bubbles. Let me see what Case of K's is before we do it. Oh. None of them, none of the other guys do. <laughs> Jun. Jun, you're, you're such a sneaky little guy. Let's go with Keisuke. Alright, so, pitch black. Have we been kidnapped? <laughs> nah, we haven't. It's not like a Dastra. I decided to skip the last class before lunch as I was feeling particularly bored today. As soon as I got close to the rooftop's door, however, I began to hear something. That voice. It was without a doubt Keisuke's voice. He's singing at the roof for some reason. Ah, oh God, I can't do like if they t make me sing. I am horrible to say the least. Like, I don't know how I do a rock voice. Like, I'm more of you know. I'd probably be more classical with my voice, based on, you know, how deep my voice could get like this, but yeah, this would be really awkward. 
So it's a song that I never heard before. A slow ballad that doesn't fit in with the rock songs he likes so much. Hey, great to see you, Lucky Mike. Glad you made it. <laughs> yeah. So I debate myself with myself whether I should open the door or not. I don't think he'd like to be interrupted. Hell, he might get really embarrassed that someone managed to hear him singing out here. But then again, he really shouldn't be skipping class to sing in the roof of all places. Yeah, it's in the roof. Wipe my screen. I know, voice of hypocrisy speaking here. I, one bad thing about my screen is that it's so high resolution that any little detail is visible. Like, any little smudge, any little dot. And it just sticks and gets in the way when I draw. So, we are on the roof. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I open the door to the sight of the hair jumping in surprise, staring at me with shock. Who? Oh, thank God it's just you. I thought a teacher heard me singing up here. Lucky for you, no one can hear you downstairs. Still, pretty ballsy for you to skip class to sing. It's not like I'm skipping class to sing. I just happen to be singing while skipping class. Everybody here loves to skip class. Oh, great. Oh, then why did you skip? I really can't imagine you of all people doing something like that. What the hell kind of image do you have of me? I'm still only a person, you know. I also need a break sometimes. Fair enough. So, what are you up to? Mm. Oh, come on, don't give me the silent treatment now. How much time do I did I spend helping you these past few days? Spit it out already. Jeez, you're so forceful. I'm just... Annoyed. Annoyed? Why? Did something happen? No, that's the problem. Huh? I think I'm gonna need a little more context here. It's just... You've been so helpful to me lately. You've also been treating me so nicely too. Everyone's been treating me so nicely. It's starting to piss me off. Huh? I'm sorry, what? You want us to treat you badly or something? No. I'm just gonna wait until you start making sense. It's not like... Ugh, sorry, my mind's going all over the place. Give me a second to organize my thoughts. <sighs> okay, I think I'm good. Great, mind explaining to me what the hell is happening then? I'm annoyed that everyone has been so nice to me when I've been such a sucky friend. Especially you. You know exactly how much I've been failing as a friend. I know next to nothing about the people I call my friends. I just can't understand how much or how you can be so understanding and nice to me after finding out about that. Hmm? Or what? Anime gasp? <laughs> Jesus, you're a bigger idiot than I thought. Huh? What do you mean? You really think we'd judge you because of that? I already told you, everyone has their own flaws. All things considered, you're at least aware of it. The only thing that annoys me is that instead of putting in the effort to correct it, you're just sitting here and feeling sorry for yourself. Sorry? But yeah, this is something that we talked about in the last stream, where it's like, you know, you don't need to be perfect or whatever. Or it's like your flaws make you what you are, something like that. I watched a movie last night where it kind of dealt with these same topics where the guy was super intelligent and all that stuff, but he never wanted to apply himself. And as a result, it was like he just kept getting 
like too worried about perfection even though he'd blow it off as like he didn't care and all that stuff and like yeah it, it's just like this it's like Keisuke just hides it so much that he ends up you know just doing it without even thinking about it so yeah here we are realizing it and trying to make ourselves better people so we can open ourselves up and realize we're not perfect beings what a life lesson so the only thing that annoys me you're just sitting here sitting here and feeling sorry for yourself not sure if i read that but we're moving on <laughs> not not sparing the barbs now huh when did i ever don't i always tend to speak my mind <laughs> thinking nico is a corgi yeah, I kind of thought that at times. Like, he's supposed to be a Shiba Inu. I originally thought he was an Akita. And that's why I gave him the name Nico after my old pet dog. Or my old pet dog. Jesus. After my old pet Akita named Nico. So, yeah, that's how I was inspired to name our MC Nico instead of Yuichi. But I couldn't think of a last name, so I was like, eh, whatever, it's Mishimaya. <laughs> I mean, Nico can be Asian for a name, or could be Japanese, I think. But yeah, he's got those little stupid corgi faces at times. Like, not stupid, but I mean, like, you know, silly corgi faces where he's just, like, totally derping out or whatever. That is something I could describe Nico as. Our rival, however, Yuya is an Akita. You can kind of tell some difference in the structures, but also the perspective kind of makes it hard to tell, but yeah. That is the world of Tennis Ace. I don't think we've seen a true Corgi yet. Like, that'd be interesting if they actually brought in a Corgi character, specifically. But yeah. Don't I always tend to speak my mind, <laughs> as Nico says? Oh, really? Is it because you always speak your mind that we constantly have to deal with Urata's cooking? <laughs> Oof. Hmm, no comments. <laughs> Didn't know it'd be this easy to defuse you. Hey, you're smiling now. I guess my pep talk worked after all. You're really bad with words, though. Thank God you're pretty. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Somebody slipped up. What? I'm bad with words. And what do you mean by I'm pretty? Don't worry about it. I'm just teasing it. But getting back to seriousness for a moment. Are you really okay with me? Even though I'm such a crappy friend? You're not a crappy friend. There are lots of good things about you. A few minor flaws don't nullify that. Good things? Like what? You're not really gonna make a list, or you're not gonna make me list them, are you? No, uh, sorry, that was a weird question. You worry too much sometimes. You're fun to spend time with and you actually care about other people. What does it matter that you're a bit self-absorbed? I think saying that I'm a bit self-absorbed is putting it lightly. You'll learn to deal with it. You're certainly more positive than I am. A positive outlook is a key in having a happy life. I'll take your word for it. Still. Thanks. I really feel like you've been cheering me up a lot more than usual recently. That's just because you're finally opening up to me more. And I have to say, I enjoy spending time with the honest Keiku and I've gotten to see recently. You look a lot better when you're smiling like that. Certainly beats the perpetual scowl you used to have. <laughs> What? Uh, don't say ridiculous stuff like that as if it were nothing. Huh? I said something ridiculous? Uh, you could be you could be just like Kobayashi sometimes. I don't get it. <laughs> just forget it. 
Still, uh, thanks. Talking to you always makes me feel so much better. You're welcome. Keisuke looks up at the sky, happily humming a cheerful melody. His voice carries easily through the air, making me feel as if the air around us has gotten lighter. His mood is infectious through his voice. Or is infectious? Whatever. Even if he's not singing, I can easily see how much more relaxed he is through his humming. Music really is a mysterious thing to me. Oh, I hate to interrupt, but I actually have a question. Ask away. Did you give Alex the present you bought for him yet? Not a second after the words leave my mouth, his entire body stiffens up, his smile fading away in a second. Mm, bad question? No, no, you're fine. Sorry, I reacted strangely. I did give him the present and apologized in as profusely as I could. And? He... Accepted it. Quite easily, in fact. Oh, that's great news! I guess... At the risk of sounding rude, why the hell aren't you happy about it? I don't know. I should be happy. Hell, I should be beside myself that I didn't lose a precious friend of mine. But it was so... Easy. It feels so anticlimactic. What, were you expecting for the two of you to start crying and talking about how much you mean to each other while hugging dramatically? Uh, I mean, I'd love to hug that big wolf too, you know. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> oh my god, you were actually expecting that? No. Not... Not exactly, at least. You're a dork. Gah. So what actually happened between you two? Uh... Alex accepted the presents, thanked me for it, said he didn't expect me to remember about his collection, and told me he always wanted one like that. Oh, he has a collection of artifacts? How cool. And that's bad. He then told me that I didn't have to give him anything because it's the thought that counts, and then told me he was never mad at me in the first place. Oh. Oh. So that whole thing we did when we went looking for a present was... Pointless? It seems so. <laughs> he would squeeze the life out of me. <laughs> That's one way I'd like to go out. Now, you see why I'm so torn here? It's the thought that counts. Just accept that. Yep. I'd also have a hard time figuring out what to feel in your shoes. Ain't that the truth? That's why I came here in the first place. I couldn't focus on my classes because I kept thinking about all of this. As silly as it may sound, singing usually helps me calm down, so... I don't think it's silly at all. We all have our own ways to decompress. I... oh, I guess that's true. Hey Dilly, welcome back. <laughs> Did it help any? The singing, I mean. A bit. Oof. Not as much as talking to you, though. Aww. <laughs> How cute. Again. <laughs> my heart. For some reason, I feel as if my heart suddenly just skipped a beat. That's... That's great to hear. I I'm glad I could help. Are you okay? Your voice sounds a bit shaky. I'm good, I'm good. I'm great. Better than great. I'm perfect. Yeah, perfect. Perfection. <laughs> I love that expression. 
perfection? Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm great. I'm per Yeah, yeah, perfection. Got it. Why am I so nervous? <laughs> Dramatic anime sounds. Baka. <laughs> so, how fares the Light Music Club? That's quite a big leap in topic of conversation. Sorry. It's fine, don't worry about it. To answer your question, though, things are no different than usual. Have you already worked up the courage to show them your skills? Uh, not even close. You're as stubborn as I ever, I see. I'm not stubborn. I'm just not ready for this kind of thing. You really should have more confidence in yourself. I think you're a great singer and guitarist. I... Thanks. By the way, when do I get to meet your classmates? Or clubmates, sorry. You're still on that? What? You promised you'd introduce me to them. <laughs> yeah, I did. Unfortunately. I heard that. <laughs> uh, sorry. What's the problem in letting me meet them? I don't even know why you're interested in meeting them in the first place. Do you even know Urata's teammates? Tragic. I want to know them. Personally, I want to know his teammates, actually. I gotta get to know the volleyball team in this story. Ah, why is it just about tennis, even though it's called Tennis Ace? <laughs> Sorry. Nah, but honestly, it's like, I wanted to actually see, like, maybe, a, like, even just a practice or a game or something more with Shuichi, like, as the days go on. Like, I feel like we'll start to see that more, hopefully. Like, yeah, we've done so much with him, but can we get to see more of actually, like, his athleticism and stuff other than just day one, I set the volleyball to Nico and then he bounced it? Anybody could do that. So, nope. But then again, Shuichi's team doesn't do something as awesome as playing in a band. That would be so awesome, a whole volleyball team playing in a band or a tennis team. That would be so cool, being a sports team and a band. So this is just about the coolness factor. Yep, bands are super cool. I have to admit, some of them are really cool. What? Nothing. I... I'll invite you to meet soon. Let me mentally prepare you for that first, okay? Mentally prepare? Why do you have to do that? Because I know you're gonna use that opportunity to tease me to hell and back. Oh. He's not wrong. Volleyball would probably be called Service Ace. Ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> there could probably be the captain. Nah. Never been the captain on my teams. <laughs> but who knows? Not even sure if I'll start this year. <laughs> That's a sad part. Like, I have a team with like 20 something guys, and it's like only seven of us are gonna start. But yeah, this would be a fun game. Like, I've low-key, like, tried to come up with, like, a volleyball-related visual novel myself, but I just need the motivation and direction with the characters and stuff. Because it's like, I got the world building down, I just need to, like, establish, like, solid characters and their motivations. Like, I have some, but I don't know where I'm gonna go with them or what I want to do with them. I need to form my characters better, that's my weakness. So... Yeah, once I get the motivation and invest enough time into that, maybe there'll be my own novel. But it's gonna have a different name. I'm gonna keep that a surprise if you guys don't know it already. So busted, huh? 
You're nothing if not predictable. Sometimes that's not a good thing. Me, predictable? I take offense to that. Of course you do. Like I said, predictable. What? Well, you can't just insult someone and then take their annoyance as proof that they're predictable. Sure I can. Not only that, I just did. Why you little- Oh, I lunge at Kaken, grabbing him and- Oh, up close. Mm. Loki, just gonna make this the first candidate for the thumbnail. <laughs> I launch a Kaikun grabbing him. God. This without context is gonna be amazing. <laughs> if you make it in real life, make sure to have you have a shy person to it. And give some. <laughs> Just like Keisuke. Feel my fury, rabbits. Wait, I'm not a rab. <laughs> I can't. I can't breathe. <laughs> I began to tickle him furiously. Something like this would have been unthinkable with the prim and proper Kakun from before. Honestly, though, like the shy guy, I think one of my characters. I'm not sure if I'm going to lean him towards shy or more, you know, kind of all-knowing, per se. Like, it's going to be interesting because I have a character like that where it's like, he's going to be quite intelligent, I think, to say the least. But yeah, he's going through a lot of dilemmas and stuff. And what those dilemmas are, other than school and sports, kind of like what I'm going through. I need to think of additional, like, characteristics to him other than just school and sports. And then from there, I need to help create a couple more characters that are solid. So yeah, that is my secret visual novel that I still need to start, even. <laughs> but he's become so much more mellow and open with me lately that it doesn't feel weird at all for me to tease him like this. Plus, I'm used to do this to Shuichi all the time when we were kids, and you do it to him again when you're on his route. Hell, we still play play wrestle sometimes. Hell, we still play wrestle sometimes. Someone's acting like a brat here. I'm gonna teach you to respect your seniors. <laughs> I surrender. I surrender. <laughs> I let him go, partly because he surrendered and partly because I don't want him to suffocate due to excess laughter. Are you gonna stop being a brat and taking me to see your club? Or about taking me to see your club? I was never acting like a brat. You just don't like the fact that I have reservations. Fair enough. But still, should I give you another round of tickles for good measure? <laughs> Oh my god, this sounds so silly. <laughs> I take back what I said. Please spare me. <laughs> Keikun and I continue to goof off on the rooftop until the bell sounds for lunchtime. I've been having so much fun spending time with him lately. I'm glad he's become more open with me. And that is the end of day. Four. Let me just save in case anything happens. You save. And another day, more schoolwork to do. This is the final character select day. This is the last day I'll be doing because I should have left a little bit earlier for something I'm going to do, but yeah, I can leave later. Th today is a bit more open for me, so. Might as well get through day 5 while we're at it, and save the day 13 and on for another stream. Like, that, that's gonna be nice, right? So here we go. Keisuke, day 5, let's get it. <laughs> Look at him in the hall. Keikun and I stand outside of a room, staring tentatively at the door. And I'm waiting for any indication of opening the door on his part. 
And he... Well, truth be told, I have no idea what he's waiting for. Kagan called me this morning and asked me if I wanted to meet his bandmates. I immediately agreed, which I guess he wasn't expecting since I sounded so shocked on the phone. I guess part of him still hoped I'd say no. <laughs> Any minute now. Are we... Are we waiting for something? Yeah, waiting for the world to end so I don't have to go through the circus that's going to ensue when I introduce you to them. Well, come on. It can't... I'm not that bad. <laughs> it's not you I'm worried about. Huh? Never mind. Oh, to the right, to the right, right, right. Come on, I'll introduce you to them. Try not to be too weirded out. Well, let me get my drink of water before this. God, my voice gets so dry and nasally sometimes when I don't get my water. <laughs> don't forget about us. Don't forget to add a horse. Wink. <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting, because, like, like I said, it's, like, volleyball-based game, and I created all the teams for it, like, that's what I mean by world-building, like, I created all the colleges for it, and one of the school's nicknames is the Stallions, so I'm like, would it be weird to have, like, Anthro Horse characters in that type of world? But then again, there's, like, one team that's also, like, the Tigers or Wildcats or something that, yeah, it's one of those weird things where I go... They're named after, like, animals. I wonder how I'll take that as, like, the, the politics of the world. Try not to get into the politics, but, you know. I wonder how they'll tackle that and go, Oh, that's a thing. <laughs> but, yeah. That'd be pretty cool. I need to work on my horses, though. Like, I'm not really good at them yet. So, anyway, let's see his bandmates. Good afternoon. I step into a room following Keisuke, scanning the insides with great curiosity. Whoa, so this is what a band room looks like? It's <laughs> just like, oh my god, just like when Jun is like, so this is what a tennis court looks like, This is, and just goes nuts, or this is what a volleyball court looks like, and he's going through all the places on day one. Oh goodness, throwback to that. So yes, this is what a band room looks like. There are so many instruments in here, many of which I don't even recognize. There's the one with the cymbals, there's the one with the the drums. <laughs> I'd love to voice them. Ah, oh, that'd be so cool. I'm not sure if it's gonna be voice acted yet. Like, I may have to like, you know, still test it out and make, you know, um, like actually do it like without voice acting and then add it maybe from there. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Maybe it'll just be like this where it's no voice acting. But yeah, that'd be cool. I'd love to hear you. <laughs> I also noticed the walls have a weird look to them, as if they were made from a different material than the rest. And there's a booth? Some kind of door leading to a booth on the other side. Oh, there she is. One of the Ichigo. Welcome back, Kei-chan. Or, ah, not sure that's a good enough voice. I, I gotta get light. I gotta get a very light, high-pitched voice. Welcome back, K-chan! Ichigo-san, I've already asked you to stop calling me that. Ichigo? The fuzzy, the fussy Keisuke is already uh, calling her on a first-name basis? Is there something going on here? <laughs> Oh my god, Dirtman, stop it! <laughs> oh, and good afternoon to you too, Mishimaya-kun! Before me stands a beautiful girl, a calico cat with silky fur dressed in a white skirt with her school blazer tied around her waist. Yep, I'd say. She looks good. <laughs> you got my thumbs up of approval. <laughs> hey there, Min Minazuki. Yeah, I mean, Azuki? You two know each other? 
But before I can respond, Ichigo wraps her arms around mine and leans dangerously close to my body, smiling lecherously. Huh? Oh, don't- did you know? Ishimaya Kun and I used to be L-O-V-E-R-S. What? What? Or somebody else? What? Another voice loudly echoes inside the room. Oh, who's this? Oof, this is the the monkey character that I didn't know because before they were all like, you know, like insert character here, like basically like placeholders. Now we got actual characters with them. This is so cool. What? And he's got the typical bandit on the nose bridge thing. Ah, so relatable. A cat runs up to me, a literal monkey with brown fur. <laughs> Come on, you have to make that joke. His eyes are completely wide as he grabs my collar. Yeah. You, 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 you sedate Ichigo-san! I can't breathe! How can he grab our arms if his arms are behind his head like that? <laughs> He's shaking me so much that I start to go nauseous. Kurusu, stop monkeying around! Stop monkeying around! Ah, uh, another voice, don't know who it is yet. Oh, wow, a raven. Oh, it's a oh, it's a male voice. Should be a bit deeper and more grounded. Another male voice echoes from behind the monkey. A jet black figure looms behind him, grabbing the guy by his shoulder and dragging him away from me. Okay, those are arms. Not sure. Some people will do like wings with arms, kind of like they'll mix it both for anthro birds. Didn't know, but that's a good-looking raven. <laughs> I give another thumbs up of approval. The whole band is a. Great rate, mate. Eight out of eight so far. But K Kagaho san, he used to date Ichigo san! The other guy, a raven, sighs, rubbing his temple as he stares down the monkey. The casual reactions of Keisuke and Minazuki tells me that this is a common occurrence. Uh, no, he didn't. Can't you tell that she was joking? Or, hmm. This is tough, it's like he's gonna have a deeper voice, but what am I gonna do for this? I already did it, but do I like that? No, he did it. Can't you tell that she was joking? Ah, that's better. Huh? His eyes go even wider, which I didn't even think was possible. He keeps staring between me and Mizuki in disbelief. Mizuki and I were classmates as freshmen. We got paired up for a class projects a few times. Minazuki, please clear up this crazy misunderstanding you created. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I should have reacted like that. Shouldn't have reacted like that. <laughs> he bows profusely, his body stiff as a plank. Just then a red panda appears. I wish. T don't worry about it so much, Kurusu-kun. Kurusu it was just a joke. No, you should worry about it. That joke nearly had me thrown to the floor. Dear God. I see that Kurusu is already causing trouble for our guest. Oh, there they are, the other two members. We got the shy looking person on the far right. Oh, and we got a raccoon character. Awesome. Close enough to Red Panda, am I right? Two girls walk in the... Two girls walk in from the separate booth in, on the other end of the room. A raccoon and a, and a bat. Oh wow, it's a pretty good looking bat. It's definitely more canine looking with a nose. Like, don't bats have a different nose though? Could be a bat hybrid, who knows? Animals could be hybrids in this world. Too much politics. But yeah, that's pretty cool looking for a bat. Like, I kind of like the, the more fluffy approach, but bats can be done well in both ways. I don't care. Draw your bats as they are. But yeah, this is a good looking band. This, my friends, will be the thumbnail. <laughs> and hide that. So, what do we have here?
to me, it was too many voices. Yeah, it's so hard for me to like find different voices for these guys because I can only do so much. Every everyone's already here, huh? Yeah, you were late after all. Or, which one's which? Like, or, they're both girls. I should do like a more feminine voice. Yeah, you were late after all. Testing, testing, oh, there we go. It's back. Oh, th that was the name of the band. The Thumbnails. <laughs> oh, goodness. They have they have some name. I forget what it was, but they'll say it. Oh, no, it's glitching. Doesn't it always glitch, though? I don't know how to not get it to glitch. Ah, but anyway. I got a random, like, you know, sales call or something calling me, and I was like... No, my mic went off. That is the one con about using your phone for the mic. It's gonna do that sometimes. Not for text, but for calls. It will do that. So anyway... Is it working? Yeah, there we go. Just double checking. So here we go. Continuing. Still, I didn't expect Karusu-san to get here before I did. What's that supposed to mean? Exactly what I said. Is this tension that I feel? Well, not that it matters anyway. Nikosan, there are members of uh, these are the members of the Light Music Club. We have Ichigo Minazuki as the vocalist. Hiya! She waves at me with a happy smile on her face. Kurusu Sa wait, Saijuma, yeah, Kurusu Sa Saijuma is the guitarist. It's nice to meet ya. The monkey strikes an energetic pose, puffing his chest. Like that. K Kagaho Fu Fujioka is the bassist and unofficial leader of the band. Kagaho, the. or Kagaho. or yeah, Kagaho? Kagaho? Or Kagaho? Yeah, Kagaho. That, that's it. That's it. Kagaho, the raven, crosses his arms, looking at Keisuke with annoyance. I don't remember ever agreeing to something like that. Hence why we... Hence why we said unofficial. We also have Miyu Ishikawa and Shoko Hisukawa as the drummer and keyboardist, respectively. Ooh, raccoon drummer. Oh God, raccoon drummer and bat. The bat is the keyboard. Perfect. All right, so <laughs> nice to meet you, senpai. I don't have so I don't have too many female voices. So part of them, part of me, if they all sound the same, I'm working on it. <laughs> so <laughs> nice to meet you, senpai. Could probably do more of a Saya voice for Miu. The raccoon smiles politely at me. Absent-mindedly playing with a drumstick and flipping it between her fingers. Uh, hi. Alright. I'm liking this band already. The bassist cr or the bat the bassist. The bat crosses her arms, looking away from me, barely speaking a word. Hey, Shoko chan uh, you shouldn't be so dry with someone you just met. At least greet him properly. Mew, don't forget that you yourself weren't even looking at him. K busted, huh? This is... 
an interesting group. It's nice to meet you all. I'm Keisuke's friend, Niko Mishimaya. Well, some of us already knew you from before, so I guess me introducing myself is kind of pointless. Try bringing the bat's voice in. Oh yeah, monotone, yeah. Good suggestion, Keibu. I mean, I only said one word so far, so... You know, hopefully she doesn't get too many words to have to do that with. I try to do Alex and some of those characters where they're like deeper brooding characters as like monotone. I even tried to do that with the Raven a little bit. Kyle's name alright, good job me. <laughs> but yeah, she definitely seems like somebody that's monotone. Hey, I'm hi like this, hi. <laughs> good suggestion. We're doing this as a team, it's teamwork. So anyway, some of us also know about you even if we never met you before. After all, you are an incredible popular person in this school. That might be true. It is true, you dummy. It's not like any of us care about sports anyway. We're here for the music. Miyusan, that's a bit... Some of us do care about sports. The monkey, Kurusu, flails his arms, looking around, looking very annoyed. Hold on, Kurusu, what's that from? That is from something. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, that sounds so familiar. There's another novel with that name, Kurusu. Um, was it more not so? I don't know. Why does that name look so familiar? I've seen it somewhere. <laughs> a full house theme place. This is a full house. <laughs> Adding on Nico would make it fuller. But yeah, I get you. So, hmm. Anyway. Kurususan, you're overreacting. Again. Kurusu pouts, glaring at the two guys. You all pick on me way too much. You make it easy. Um... I'm not really sure how I should be acting here. I know I wanted to be introduced to them, but I have no idea how to react to this group dynamic. Um... What's going on here? Oh, it could be scratching- Man, you guys are doing good with giving me some tips. I don't know how to do scratchy voices, but I will try. <laughs> uh, hmm. I honestly haven't heard a scratchy voice in a while, so pardon me if it sounds nothing like a scratchy voice at all. So what's going on here? This is more or less the daily interactions that can be had in this group. Thrilling, isn't it? Uh, here we go. <laughs> no pressure. It's not like we're like it either. It's mostly like Kurusu's fault either way. Close enough? <laughs> I, it was like, I started thinking scratchy and I'm like, okay, so it's gonna be uneven and like up and down, kind of like that. Like that, deep or scary. <laughs> so we're gonna try that. Kaga- Kagaho- yeah, Kagaho. I think it's Kagaho. I've been pronouncing it multiple ways this entire time. Ex pardon me, basket case, for what I do. <laughs> so, Kagaho. I like that better. Kagaho. So that's what he says. Hopefully he says more so I can practice. What? How is it my fault? It is your fault. Agreed. There we go. That's Shoko. Our monotone shy bat. It's totally your fault. No arguments. Or no arguments here. What? Now you're all turning on me. <laughs> oh man, this group is even more dysfunctional than mine. I. Yeah, I'm sorry. What are you apologizing for? I don't know. I just felt like I should. You've been here for less than five minutes and you've 
and you're already overwhelmed? A little. I apologize on behalf for our, uh, wilder member. I'm gonna try and do that, but deeper. Sorry, I'm making, like, so many side notes to myself, so pardon my interruptions. <laughs> Don't apologize on my behalf. Or oh, now I'm starting to. Uh, I can do that. I started to get scratchy with Caruso's voice too. Don't apologize on my behalf. Definitely an interesting group. There's so many people. It's like I want to get them all because I feel like they'll come back. And ah, I like this group. Well, Nikosan, there are the there are the members of the band. Since you want to meet them so bad. Is there anything you'd like to ask them? Oh, what's this? A Q&A? This would be great practice for when we get famous. Hell yeah, give me the spotlight. No, but- uh, oh god. <laughs> I was gonna fuck that up. Nobody is going to give you the spotlights. But I'm the lead guitarist! You're also a pain in the ass to deal with. <laughs> uh, okay. Putting that aside. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try for that, maybe. Or, or it's like I'm trying to go for that. I'm trying to go for that, you know, happy, quirky voice where it's just, I'm super quirky type of thing. But, yeah. I work with that. Like Jean. I'm not sure if my Jean voice is like that though. Jean is just kinda high pitched like this. It's just just the typical high pitched voice. I don't really do much for Jean, but <laughs> or Shuichi. Honestly, I, this is sad, but I honestly do nearly the same regular voice I do for Nico for Shuichi. Like it's honestly just my same voice, but maybe drop down like a slight octave. A slight one, like Keisuke, Keisuke is like way lower, like this. And then I do Shuichi, it's like compared to Nico, like this, Shuichi is kind of like this. I mean, or it's kind of like this, where I just sound a bit more lax about it. But yeah, Caruso definitely needs that like kind of quirky, happy go lucky voice to him. Ah, uh, do you know what I just noticed too? He's got like the, kind of the, you know, where it's like, the three, when, when somebody would do like, a three for like, the mouth or the lips for like, a cat emoji or something. He kind of has that thing going there too with his lips. It's so cool. Like I said, it's so cool seeing this for the first time. Like, when I did this before, it was just placeholders, so, you know, paint the picture yourself for it. And, you know, it was cool hearing about them, but actually seeing like, the artist for this doing so many more characters like god it's just amazing seeing all this work and time put into this because this is a huge commitment too. like to be an artist for a visual novel you gotta like invest most a lot of time into helping the novel update and stuff and add more sprites you can't just be like oh here are my sprites from day one that's it bye so yeah you have to just Constantly go with updates, adding more characters, adding more expressions, or to whatever meets your satisfaction. The game keeps evolving, man. So, putting that aside... <laughs> oh, I know. Does your band have a name? That's the best you could come up with? Now, Kei-chan, that's not a bad question at all. Y you don't need to be so harsh on them. Fine. Also, don't call me Kei-chan. Our band is called Strawberry Five. Strawberry Five? Is there any particular reason for that name? Isn't it obvious? The Raven turns to look at their vocalist, who stares between the two of us with an innocent smile on her face. Of course. <laughs> Oh, should give him a server voice, kind of like what I did with like Carl for Echo and what I did for the guitarist dude in like the guitar shop for KSK. Ah, uh, so tough. But I mean, I could, 
<laughs> he doesn't seem like that though. I mean, he could. He's got nearly the same hair hair hairstyle on top as me. That's my voice typically as default is kind of surfer kind of surfer dude like this, but how can I do a happy go lucky with Kurusu like that? Hmm. I kind of see Caruso being kind of nerdy with that. I, I see him a bit more high-pitched. I don't know. If you need a voice actor, I'll be down for that. Yeah, uh, definitely gonna consider that in the future. Honestly, I keep saying that. I'm very indefinite about it. Because, once again, I do these as live streams, and it's hard to get everybody on board without, like, interruptions and all this stuff. And life. But, yeah. Especially if we did them as, like, you know, separate recordings beforehand and yeah did that did it like that or even did a collab stream together or something that would be really cool like i'd love to do that maybe but like i said have to think about it <laughs> before you even th before you even think of it no this name wasn't my idea here here the name was totally my idea the raccoon waves excitedly with a big smile on her face. Yeah, up until Miu joined this year, we didn't really have a name. Although, I think I preferred when we didn't. We were- you were outvoted. Stop complaining. Even the bat, who I completely forgot was there, cut in to say something. Gah! Even Shoko Chan is lying in on me now, or laying in on me now. Ugh. You guys had a vote? The Raven nods. It was about two weeks before Keisuke joined. There were three in favor of the name and two against. Two against? So you were against it, Kaga Kakaho? Wait. Kagaho-san? Ah, oh, I can't believe I forgot how to pronounce the name that I said I pronounced like that. Ah. So, two against. So you were against it, Kagaho-san? No, Ichigo was. Huh? I turned to look at the cat. She looks at me with a pout on her face, crossing her arms. Why would you think I'd want my name plastered on that band? I'm not that vain. I have to admit that I do like the name, though. <laughs> not you too, K-chan. I personally am like, uh, Strawberry 5. Oh, no. <laughs> As opposed to Maroon 5. Oh, my God, this, I just realized it. Uh, why did I have to... I'm so slow to these jokes. Like strawberry red, maroon red. Oh god. Did you really think you'd get, get away with that basket case? <laughs> she sighs, shrugging and shaking her head sideways. Still like the thumbnails better than the strawberry five. <laughs> they honestly all look like thumbnails in this pose. Like they all just do this exact pose. This is the pose of everybody. You know what? Screw it. This is the thumbnail. The th thumbnails are getting a photo right now. For the thumbnail. Band of the year. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm being very spontaneous right now. <laughs> oh goodness. What a day. Well, we did lose the vote, so there's no point dwelling on it any further. Do you have anything else you'd like to know? Hmm. How many gigs have you guys played so far? None. None? Oh boy, this could be a disaster. Up until me, or up until me, you joined. We didn't really have a drummer, so we couldn't perform. Plus, plus, Ichigo-san isn't happy with the current roster. She wanted us to have another vocalist. Double vocals? Hmm. <laughs> Stares at Keisuke. 
Yeah. I just don't think a girl with a voice like mine can sing all the songs I want our oh I'd want our band to do. But your voice is incredible, Ichigo san. I'm not saying that I'm bad. I just think I just don't think I'm a perfect fit for the genre. Plus, I think having a male singer together with me could open so oh, oh god, my voice is like dropping as I'm doing this. Plus, I think having a male singer together with me could open so many doors for us. Oh god, now I'm realizing it's so bad. Oh, that moment when you realize your female voices are terrible. <laughs> ah, those high octaves are... Ah, awful. Er, I think having a male singer... Yeah, it was worth a shot. <laughs> oh, goodness. Laugh along with me. A male singer, huh? Keisuke immediately notices the look on my face. In that case, why don't you... I feel a hard kick on my shin. Ow! The band members all stare at me in shock, with exception to the cat and the raven who seem completely unaffected by it. Oops, uh, sorry I slipped. Keisuke, could you please be a little more gentle with me? I make no promises. Jeez, I'm just trying to help you. If you're suggesting we have Kei-chan as another singer, I wholeheartedly agree with you. What? Even Kagaho reacted this time. What? Me, as a singer? What are you talking about? Yeah, Ichigo-san, you can't just decide that out of nowhere- or You can't just decide that out of nowhere. We asked Keisuke-san if he could play an instrument or sing when he first joined and he said no. That's not even the only problem here. I've been practicing for the past two years to become the secondary singer with Ichigo-san. You can't just have someone else take my place! Don't be ridiculous. We already told your vocal- Don't be ridiculous. We already told you your vocals suck. We're not having you as a singer, plain and simple. Gah. Ichigo-chan. Can you explain? Or can you explain? I almost went too deep with that. That would have been awful. I'd like to hear an explanation as well. Where did that idea even come from? Don't let Nikosan's joking around confuse you. I can't. I know you can sing. Huh? She mutters something like it, that as if it were nothing. Artist of the Year, Strawberry Six. Yes, it's gotta be the Strawberry Six. That rings so much better, actually. I I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a horrible si I heard you on the rooftop or I heard you on a rooftop a while ago. Huh? On the rooftop? Could it have been on the same day that I walked in on him singing? I can't imagine him having done it more than once. Ichigo nods. Yeah, I was thinking of going upstairs to the rooftop to skip class that day, and I heard someone singing. I didn't know who it was at first, but I heard him muttering to himself every now and then. Talking about how he got the lyrics wrong, or how the nook should have been higher. And uh, that's when I recognized that it was Kei-chan. What? You heard that? She nods again. You're a very good singer! I, I've been wanting to get you to become our lead singer since I heard you on the roof! I was actually going to bring it up today, but your friend brought the subject up for me! Er, oh god. Nailed it! <laughs> uh, why am I so self-conscious about this? I'm like Keisuke, I got the wrong note! I got the wrong voice! <laughs> the first track called The Farm. I was- I was going to bring it up today, but your friend brought the subject up for me! I, um... I'm sorry? <laughs> Stop apologizing. Sorry. k 
Keisuke, is it true that you can sing? Uh... Keisuke? Mm. He's gone completely silent. Yeah, Keichen can sing and play guitar really well. Niko-san! Wait, he can play the guitar too? Great! Uh, this me that means we can finally kick Caruso out and have a normal guitarist. What? Agreed. Wow, these people are merciless. You can play the guitar too. I didn't know that. I, I, I mean, it's not like... It's not like I'm good or anything. It's just... It's just a hobby. Yes, because the rest of us play professionally, don't we? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean... It's fine, I, I just don't like the fact that I was lied to. I... Kei-chan, could you show me the re- Could you show the rest of us? Both your singing and your guitar? That's a bit... We're not gonna bite or anything, you know. From the very beginning, we said this club was open to anyone who was willing to learn an instrument. So long as they could actually put in the effort. Even if it turned out that you're not all that good, we just help you practice. It's true. I had never touched a keyboard before until I- er, It's true. I had never touched a keyboard before until I joined this club. I... I need some time to think about it. Come on, what's the worst that can happen? Not another word from you, blabbermouth. Sorry. Come on, Keichan, don't be so upset at him. It's not like he said something horrible at you. Wait. They're all so boring. Aww. Oh, oh, it's for your previous comment. I was like, oh, if you're calling this whole band boring, I, I'd be like, yes, how could you say that? <laughs> nah, but I get it. Who needs a normal guitarist? <laughs> I get you. Oh, ukulele would work just great. Heck yeah. Your friendly neighborhood viewer. Hello, Galvin. Or Ga Gavin. Jesus. <laughs> I can't even pronounce regular names now. Or not regular. American names. Jeez. No one likes lying until you are the person getting lied to. Amen to that. Bodyguard, definitely. Yep, we got the yeah. Our band even has a bodyguard. Say hello to Alex. <laughs> oh goodness. So, come on, Keichan, don't be so upset at him. It's not like he said something horrible at you. Yeah, you joined the you joined this club because you wanted to sing, didn't you? You did. There you go, running your mouth again. This is why I didn't want to bring you in the first place. <laughs> uh, sorry. I have to learn to keep my mouth shut sometimes. Even if Kaykun's reactions are funny as hell. I... Nikosan and some of my friends had heard me singing before and seemed very supportive of it, so I decided to give it a try. But when I saw how good all of you were, I chickened out because I didn't think there was any way I could compare. Is that so? I thought you were a better singer than me. That's why I wanted you to be the lead vocal. With all due respect, Ichigo-san, I can't see that ha- I can. You're- You're kidding, right? Everyone but Ichigo and I stares at the raven with shock and confusion. The dude, on the other hand, seems completely unaffected by it. I joined this band because I believed Ichigo was something special and I decided to support her no matter what she did. 
if she thinks her becoming backing vocal to something, someone else is the best decision, then I choose to trust her. That's insane. <laughs> Don't underestimate us founding members. We know what we're talking about. Kagaho and I have created this band from the ground up ourselves. Who do you think scouted all of our other talented members? I don't know. I was just a I was just a member of the judo club until Ichigo-san saw me playing band with an acoustic guitar last year and invited me to join the band. Ichigo-san is the one who got me to transfer to this school after she saw me practicing the drums by myself in a rehearsal studio. She was the one who said the keyboard would be good fit or she was the one who said the keyboard would be a good fit for me when I mentioned wanting to join the band. Wow. I didn't know any of that. Ichigo is a good judge of talent and character. She's the only reason this band got together in the first place. <laughs> Stop it, you guys. You're going to make me blush. At least she's modest. <laughs> oh, thanks, Red Scarlet. <laughs> How cute. Uh, can I have some time to think about it? Of course. I don't want to pressure you. Mm, that's funny, because that's exactly what you're doing. Don't mind it. Yeah, right. I have to admit, I'm also in interested in hearing this. I've never seen Ichigo praise another vocalist like this. <laughs> Thanks, Dilly. I'm nothing special. I promise you that. Somehow I don't buy it. Yeah, yeah, believe whatever you want to believe. Jeez, he doesn't have to act like it's the end of the world. Wait, as far as we know for Ichigo... Yeah, Ichigo's voice. Uh, that's kinda... <laughs> you do some work. Just need to hike up the pants a little. <laughs> this is the reason you even joined this club in the first place. Come on, Keikun. I'm sure you can wow all of them. You're amazing after all. You've never seen them perform before. Don't say such ridiculous things without knowing what they're capable of. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> sorry. Sorry. You sure are apologizing a lot today. I guess... Huh? Ichigo-san? Ichigo launches herself at me, wrapping both of her arms around my right arm and looking up at me with a devious smile. Well, we could certainly fix that. <laughs> are you suggesting what I think you're suggesting? I look at the raven to see him smiling knowing knowingly at the two of us. You bet! Kagahu nods, turning his back to us and walking towards the instruments at the center of the room. Everyone in positions, we're going to play now. Oh, are we gonna show him what we can do? Well, it's not like we're, we weren't going to rehearse today anyway. Having one more person in here isn't going to make much of a difference. I agree. <laughs> oh, they didn't actually do ban the band thing again. They didn't have music before. Or, like, they didn't have music before that they were just like, they didn't, that Basket Case said that he didn't know the direction of what he wanted to do for the band. So... Yeah, guess we'll have to actually find out the sound of the band in a different episode, so my ears are ringing so much. I mostly blinked out while they were playing. I remember thinking they were amazing and then blank. 
I ended up watching the band playing for over an hour. So that's Keisuke's band, huh? I have to admit, they sounded really great. I might have just become a fan. I still think they could sound even more amazing with him in it, though. Hmm. Their vocalist said she wanted to get Keikun to join them as a vocalist. Maybe I can look for a way to push him into doing that. Hold him hostage. <laughs> yeah, I think that's just what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, shoot, I should have said that. <laughs> it's like, it's supposed to be like something he... Ah, uh, I think this is the last line. Oh, never mind. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to head home and lie down for a bit. I'm still feeling a little dizzy from the loud music. My ears, they they burn. Ah, uh, they probably were so loud. And that is it for the character select days. We made it to day 13. Or er, what? There we go. I was like, wait, what? How could this be? So, day 13. We are going to save that as this. And this is where we're going to stop. We are outside Keisuke's mansion, and that's where we will start the next episode. So, let me just give a fi final read-through of the comments, just so I don't leave you guys hanging. Yes, some people are... <laughs> Gawking over me a little bit in the comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody ha can have their opinion. I kind of designed my persona based on just, you know, myself, really. Like, the hair is, like, kind of my hair when I let fall down. And, you know, just did, like, a you know, more s slim toned look for my persona. Like, that's just kind of me in real life. I kind of did more of what would I be if I were an animal. And that was it. So let's see what else we got. You're holding, you're holding Casey K for ransom now. <laughs> yes, now I am. <laughs> so any Christmas gifts that I got? Yeah, I I got everything I wanted. You could tell I'm an adult when it's like everything I wanted was like, like I got like a wallet. I got some underwear. Uh, wallet underwear. What was the other thing I got? Jeez, I can't believe I forgot already. <laughs> no, but it was something important. Yes. Uh, wallets, underwear. Oh, and the shirt, yeah. So all clothing-related stuff, or everyday use stuff, so, you know, I'm kind of easy to please. So, yeah. <laughs> I gotta be in the game. I mean, I technically placed myself in it when I did that one day. <sighs> Honestly, it's like, I don't care. Like, I honestly just want to see a red panda in the game like just any red panda like we got a raccoon already we got a red panda as a cashier but i want to actually see a red panda like character sprite like i don't know what tanabe is like what animal or species or whatever tanabe is but who knows could be that maybe like one of the guys on shuichi's team is a red panda wink hey, wink wink nudge nudge Maybe a libero on the team. Because <laughs> that's my position in real life. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, like, Dilly, you said you played volleyball. Uh, do you know what position you played by any chance? Oh, yeah, the index finger. Yeah, yeah this was back when I was, like, trying to work on, like, perspectives or whatever. So I could have made it a little bit to the right. But... Yeah, I tried to make the hand bigger as it was reaching out. Turk plus coach Gill, still a thing. Still have that artwork to thank me for. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, that is all... I think that is all I have for today. I'm just gonna give Dilly a few more seconds if my stream lagged a little bit just for him to answer the question because I don't want to be like oh hey I have this question and then for him to just like not get it in after I shut it off 
So yeah, just yeah, I'm gonna ask one more time. Like, what position did you play, Dilly? Since you said you played. Oh, cool. You'll tweet it to me. Perfect. Yeah. But yeah, it's interesting. It's like honestly, it's like when you're not a libero, you could pretty much play almost any other position, like based on height. Like it's just a matter of skill. Just because I'm not tall enough, I'm pretty much stuck at libero. That is my life. So, yeah. That is now all I really have to say. So, <laughs> it's great chatting with you guys. Um, I just realized, I forgot to mention it the last episode, but I hit 200 subscribers. Like, that's impressive to think about, guys. It just happened so quickly, too. Like, I was just looking one day, and it was just like, oh, 130 or 140, something smaller. And they just kept building so quickly, this, like, this past two, three weeks. Like, I started to hit a boom on my Adastro video and some videos before that. And, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. I don't know if I'm going to do a special yet, so... That's up in the air. Depends on what I do here. Oh, maybe I can even make, like, case to case Day 13 on, like, a special or stream... Ask questions there. I'll let you guys know if I do like a Q&A there. But yeah. Thanks guys. So thank you again. And thanks for supporting me. That is th now that is all I have to say. So until next time. Take care guys.